Hello everyone and welcome to Lawrence Plays Minecraft and as ever we're playing the Dungeons Dragons and Space Shuttles mod pack where it currently seems to be raining and and also night time so it's a lovely time to join the stream uh, join the game but I need to do an update video so let's uh, let's have a run through what happened in the last stream so everything since the last video so people have been quite busy. Um, not not so much myself, but other people. Other people have been quite busy. Um, one of the most significant things I did was I told Mike um, that actually this tower, whilst it was lovely and big and impressive, could do with being a little bit bigger. So we've been talking about having slightly more headroom down here in the up upstairs area to give it to give this a bit more of a sort of a workroom feel. And so we thought a three high ceiling would make sense, and then. Also, but that would mean that then the next level up, we'd have to st have it stick out a bit further in order to make the sort of the general shape of the tower and the saucer on top of it look a bit more sensible. Otherwise, it would just sort of flare out and then go straight up at the sides, which would, wouldn't look great. So I um, I came out and I drew this sort of extra slice in here, this sort of cake, what I've been referring to as a cake slice, and said yes, I think this is probably quite a good design. So we've got a big chunk here that acts as a sort of a window, so you can see out, and um, and and from down down below you can see in, and it'll all just look a bit, and it'll look nice and white and towery from down below. Um, then on top of then above that it sticks out a little bit further. This bit you won't be able to get into because it's too small. In fact, this bit you won't be able to get into either because it'll be too small. Um, and really, you're not supposed to come up here. You're mostly supposed to stay down at this level and possibly down here in the workshop area, just sort of you know doing magical workshoppy things. But then on top of that, we're going to have this um, half row here with the slab to to, um, to to give you a little bit of sort of to make the ceiling feel that tiny little bit higher. Um, what because it's easy to do that, and also to save on building materials because this stuff is half the price of this stuff because it's literally the same thing cut in half. Although it's, this seems to be chalk and this seems to be a, 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 a clagite, um, whatever that is. So maybe it's not quite the same, but in, but it's it's still cheaper because you can you can cut the blo blocks in half and use half as much of it. Um, and then on top of that, there's to be two layers of dirt, and that's to allow me to dig holes for things like ponds, and also oh, and still have enough dirt up here for growing things in. Um, and I'll show you a little bit of what I've done with that in a moment. And then out there, I decided that was probably an acceptable amount of vertical. So we've got this sort of cake slice, and I said, yes, this is great. Now just do it all the way round, because Mike is our um, official dog's body. He goes round and just and 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 um, and builds things when people ask for them. And he's made a pretty good start in it, to be fair. There's all of this this glass has a hole in it somewhere around here. I'm sure because I fell through it earlier. Um, all this glass has gone down, so he's made a good start in it. And there's been some experiments with different types of glass as well. So over here we've got thickened glass. Over here we've got normal glass, but it's been chiselled into a into a slightly different design. And the same here, I think. Yeah. So we, some desi different designs have been played with because the normal default is it. Every single square block is split up into squares like this, so you, you get all these thick lines all the way through, which kind of spoils the the, uh, the look of it. But if you do something like this, then you only get then the, the textures um, join, so you only get the thick lines around the edge of it and a few sort of little marks inside as well. So we're probably going to go with this this design because it looks a lot better, um, or possibly this one. But no, pro probably this one. Once all that's been built up, it'll then start to look a bit more like um, ah bounty. It'll start to look a bit like this, and I accidentally grew all of this grass up here because I planted some for this thing, which I should talk about in a moment, and then it just spread, even though I left gaps because I didn't need big enough gaps. So that was that was my fault. Um, but this is what I was meaning about wanting to have these sort of dip, be able to have these dips in it. So here we've got these places for water to to have pools of water, allowing me to then put hydroangels in these gaps here. And have have them grow happily, uh, fed by these these water ponds, and then the um, the mana spreader here can then collect any mana that's being grown in this area and put it in the pool. Now we don't have very much mana in the pool now because unfortunately it had to be emptied in order to move it. I used up as much as I could for useful things, but still we st I think we still ended up or I still ended up wasting quite a lot. So we're going to need to regain some more. So we've got these endo flames in here. So if I want to, I can come along here and throw throw flammable stuff at these, and they'll and they'll happily burn it and and, and generate the more mana. So that can be done. But the plan is to extend this. Um, this area, Mike has made it daytime. This this area with the um, with with the thick thick dirt and at this height, all the way out to the edge of this circle that goes all the way around there. So I'm going to have a huge area to grow stuff and lots and lots of room to play with things. 
I've also carried on with some of the uh, quests a little bit. So we're carrying on with the white magic. Um, I got, got along here. I did the mana pool and the mana spreader last time and got some mana steel. I've now got a mage's workshop made. I made a grimoire, which is uh, a magical book, apparently. I've not really looked into that very much yet. But I also made an, an a thame, a thami. However this thing is pronounced. I made one of these. It's a magical sword used for sort of... Um, magical traditions and, and basically it's there for sacrificing things i think which makes it a little bit odd to have it in the white magic t uh, lineup but never mind it's there one of the other things i did then in part of the white magic was i made this portal over here but i did this more or less at the end of the stream so we agreed that i'd put a lid on it so nobody could accidentally fall in and we go off to it and we go off and investigate the twilight forest in the next stream when we can all go off and play together so that seems a lot fairer and a lot nicer so I've, yeah I, I was pretty happy to do that i've also if i drop down all the way down here through the um through down the tower i finished off the flooring around here Ooh, there's mike outside the door um, let's wave to him. He's brought me a thingy. What's that? Oh, that's a, um, a what's name gem. A, 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 a Tantaric gem. Uh, that's handy. That'll have some will in it that I can use for other things. So yes, I finished off the floor around here, um, which now looks very nice. And so, um, unfortunately I realised that I've put the staircase in the wrong place. Or rather, I've made it too shallow. And so, as you run down it, you end up bumping your head a couple of times there, which slows you down a little bit. And this is because I decided I wanted to make a big, wide, grand staircase like this. So I've used slabs instead of staircases, which means it descend. It takes up twice as much space as it descends. So this is going to need to possibly be a little bit redesigned. But then I don't want to. I don't want to. I want you to be able to run in through the front door and come straight over to here. This is the launch point to go in order to climb up the uh, tower by slime sling. So I don't really want to move it across too much. But maybe having it about here would work reasonably well. So down here, I've carried on a little bit with uh, with the dark magic. I haven't done a huge amount, although I did manage to make this blood altar, which took a lot of resources that we had um, not great deal amount of, not a, not a great deal of rather. Um, so the blood altar, um, let's see, was this one, um, and that required all of these demon plates, which we didn't have very much of. So Mike needs things from me. Uh, let's see if I can actually help him with this. There we go. So the way the way this the way the reason he wants that is because um, these these swords, sentient sword I'm holding at the moment. Whenever you kill something with it, the monster you kill will drop its will, its life force, its soul, however you want to look at it, and then you can use one of those those gems that Mike's carrying to capture the soul in and and, and store it, and uh, and then it can later on be used for magical purposes. Um, and so that's that's one of the things I'm collecting. So yes, I made this blood altar. Um, and then I thought, well, it needs blood. Let's. I've already got this system here of pipes and pumps and things to feed the blood from these tanks into the blood infuser. But it turns out it's the wrong type of blood. Maybe it needs the sort of the, a different a different blood type. Who knows? So this isn't actually working. This pipe here is is a nonsense. Doesn't do anything useful. The blood altar is basically is currently basically useless. I need to make a special type of. I think it was was it a, a different sacrificial knife for that one. I think. So if we go and look in the black magic down here we can see that from here yes we need to make a sacrificial knife um, unfortunately that requires a certain amount of gold it requires three for there and then another five for this part so that's going to require a lot of gold which we, we simply don't have so Al has been talking about going off and doing a big mining session, but um, during the stream he got rather yak shaven and during that. So he ended up originally wanting to go mining, but then he realised he needed some tools to go mining, so he started doing that. And then we decided we were going to go um, going to go exploring, so he came along with us for that, and it just all got a bit out of hand. Finally, on the magic front, I made this um, magic circle down here out of some arcane ashes. Um, I think I just fed it my sentient sword, which was not what I wanted to do. I don't know how I get that back. That might be a problem. Um, oops. I kind of wanted that. Um, <laughs> we, shall, we shall have to investigate that later. So that might have been a mistake. But anyway, the other thing we, the other big thing we did, um, in fact that Tristan did, was he opened up a portal to the nether. So if we nip over to the other side of the um, base over here. Ooh, I've overshot, as usual. The area that used to be my wizard dungeon and blood room has now been converted over to be an area for portals. So if we nip down here, we've got a nether portal here that's wibbling and shimmering away. Step into there. Wibbly wibbly shimmery shimmery. 
and this teleports me to the nether where we have made a traditional cobble box um, and this is basically this is simply a large box that you can spawn in into which we hope will probably be safe and allow us to just sort of wander around here without getting immediately ganked by all the um, creatures around here and from here we tunnel down a little bit into the what's this nether rack um, and we've made various tunnels off in different directions to sort of to explore a bit and try and find the stuff we're looking for so we've got gloomy nether rack fiery nether rack um, then along here we've got an airy escapes and you can see how inhospitable the nether is so we've got massive lava lakes usually there's all kinds of scary creatures wandering around that will try and try and attack you and kill you um, through here we've got another another area out here we've blocked stuff with dirt and things. I spent quite a lot of time just trying to sort of seal off all the holes everyone was making in an attempt to try and keep things feeling vaguely safe because I'm not used to the nether so I got a little bit scared um, but then we've got this area out here I'm walking on ooh, there's a, a thing approaching me one of those I forget what it's called but I don't want to hang around there um, so let's talk about the other thing I got up to in this uh, was it through here no oh no it's followed me I'm in trouble I can't run can I use my IOT on it no I'm dead so now let's go and try and uh, retrieve all the stuff from my corpse because I Dying was, let's just say dying was not in my plans for today. Um, has that juggernaut gone? No, it hasn't. Yeah, that's that could be problematic. To be fair, they're not actually that tough. It's just because I didn't have a weapon with me, so I, because I don't think they're that tough. This may be a hubris. No, there we go. So, that's um, sorted that out. Now I can get my grave <laughs> and go back to what I was trying to talk about earlier. So yes, we did a load of mining over here. Or I, I came down here and dug this hole and discovered quite a lot of this stuff, magma block, which apparently is useful. So I harvested up as much of that as I could without getting, without horribly dying to lava. Found yet another lava lake. So these are going to be, we're probably going to come through here at some point with loads and loads of buckets and, and cells and things and just gather up as much of this lava as we can. Because a lot of our industry gets through quite a lot of lava. So I think that would be rather useful. Oh, Mike has come through to play as well. Uh <laughs> now I take it back. Mike has come through to be annoying and block me in. <laughs> Typical. That's what, that's what I get for trying to trying to do this well uh, when um, when Mike's around as well. So yeah, we made an expedition into the Nether. We died quite a lot, but we managed to get some useful resources from it as well. So it was probably worth it. I think. We'll see. <laughs> so that's about it for me. Um, those that's that's that was pretty much what I did this stream. Um, let's leave Mike in there. Pity I can't lock the doors. So, what were other people up to? Well, uh, Tristan's been busy with, uh, as well as opening a portal to hell, as, as we saw there with the uh, with the Nether. He's also been over here and um, automated this um, uh, cobblestone generation system here. So we've got lots and lots of cobblestone being generated into this chest. As you can see, it's now completely full because we've not been using it because, well, automated stuff is, is automatic. It turns out and just keeps running even when we're not playing. So that's now why we've got a box full over there. Mike, on the other hand, has done, well, apart from, he's done, he's done a lot of work on my, um, on my tower up there. So I can't be too rude about him. But we did discover that he has also created an office. So <laughs> we now have some office space in here in Minecraft, including a, um, a meeting room over here, complete with chairs and a cat that appears to be leaving messes on the floor. Um, Owen is tied to a, a leash. That um, seems mildly cruel, but sure. Well, um, I'm not, I'll not worry about that. But the interesting thing about this is he's also put in some sort of wiring system. So we've got power cables running through inside the, um, inside the walls and under the floor of the office. And also going off, I think, to the smeltery, but it's all quite hidden now, so I don't really know where it all goes. And this is just going to be a bit of a mystery, and I think that means that Mike has left himself in charge of all of this because nobody else knows what's going on. And I think that pretty much covers it. We've been, uh, I feel like we've been quite busy. Oh, here's some of my, um, that, that magma, um, magma, um, netherrack, or whatever it was called that I found. <laughs> so that's coming in useful, it seems. So that's pretty much what we've been up to in the, since the last, since the last stream. Um, I still feel that this uh, that the the wizard's tower is the biggest achievement, but that might just be because it's the biggest thing. Um, a bit more, I th actually I think a bit more has been done inside here with the um, the machinery upstairs. We've now got various. Um, actually, there's quite a lot set up up here. I don't I don't know what half this stuff is doing. We've got pulverizer, we've got compactor, we've got sawmill, and we've got an atomic reconstructor apparently. So um, 
yeah, these all do machiney stuff. And to be honest, I don't know what any of the. Well, I know what some of them do. I know what a sawmill does for cutting stuff in half. I use that quite a lot to make all of the um, these slabs that I was using for for decorating the, uh, the the wizard's tower ground floor. But you know, other than that, I don't. I'm not really sure. I'm not sure mo what, what most of it's for or how it works. Um, but I've been promised some explanations. So if you come along to the next stream, you can listen uh, listen in while um, while I'm told how everything, how and why everything works. So that should be should be interesting. As I'm sure you're aware by now, the streams happen every Monday at 7.30 UK time and we'll play for typically about three hours or until people start to say, hey, it's bedtime. Um, there's also the Factorio streams on Wednesday. They're very worth coming along to. That's me, me working through Factorio um, space exploration and I'm making some good progress with that. Um, I've got the, the Naquium is now flowing quite nicely and but, but as ever, I still need more of absolutely everything because that's how Factorio works. These are... Uh, Update videos come out at the weekend, of course, and then we'll probably I'll tr I try to release um, other videos during the week for some IRL stuff as and when it happens. Um, you'll see those when they pop up as well. Um, please come along as, as ever and um, enjoy the videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.